Hey guys, Jesse here. So today I wanted to do a really quick tutorial on how to install WordPress on Heroku. Now this allows you to install any WordPress site completely for free, no costs. And another benefit is Heroku has really good permission control, which means that if let's say you're in the business of trading websites or selling websites, it's really easy to hand over that uh, using their backend. So let's just dive straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to open your console. Uh, of your computer. If you've got Windows, you may have something like PowerShell or the command line. Uh, for Mac, you can just use your normal terminal. Uh, I'm going to assume that there's a couple of prerequisites that are going to be done. I'm going to put those prerequisites in the description below. Uh, a couple of those is having Git on your computer, and the other one is having Heroku's tool belt. But assuming they're all done, let's just dive straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go grab someone else's code who has already optimized WordPress to work well and play nicely with Heroku. So the code to do that is uh, this guy. So he's actually bundled everything up, optimized WordPress to use Postgres and uh, use SendGrid for emails. And I think even has all the HTTPS all set up as well, which is really nice. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to clone this to our desktop first. So it's going to clone. It's gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna speed this up. Great, so now the code's all been pulled down to my uh, desktop PC. So the next step is I wanna actually navigate into that folder. So I'm gonna navigate into WordPress Heroku. Cool, so uh, the first step we wanna do, now that all the code's on our desktop, uh, is we wanna create an instance on Heroku. And so if you've got Heroku's toolbar, it's pretty easy, just type in Heroku create. It's gonna create a strange name and a strange URL. This one's called Shrouded Depths Two Five Six Eight Dot Heroku App Dot Com. If you navigate there, you'll actually see a site like a template site just there. Um, after that's done, we want to now create. Uh, we want to actually add Postgres, which is like our database, to Heroku um, and to our app. So the code for that is Heroku Add-ons Create uh, Heroku Postgres QL. This will take a couple of seconds. Done. Okay, cool. The, the next step is we want to promote the database. This is just a, a little step that needs to be done. So to do that, we do Heroku PG uh, for promote, and then we grab the database name that was created. So that's uh, Postgres Concave 5332, which you can see when we did the Heroku add-ons create Heroku Postgres, it created a database called Postgres Concave 5332. So this will be unique to you. So I'll hit enter there. Oops, another spelling mistake. I keep bloody doing this. Um, there we go, this, this, this one will work, this one will work. Done, cool. So what we want to do now is we actually want to deploy the whole site uh, up to Heroku. So we're going to git add everything. Then we're going to go git, whoop, git push Heroku uh, master. And what it's doing now is it's grabbing all the code on our desktop pushing it up to the server, and in a couple of seconds, we'll visit our URL, and it's all pretty much easy setup from there. Great, so all the code's now up on Heroku, and we're just gonna do a couple of last little setup steps, which I'll show you now. So what we wanna do is we wanna grab the URL uh, for the Heroku instance. We wanna go to our browser. We wanna navigate to the URL. And here we go. So it looks like it was a success. So we'll install uh, WordPress just as we normally would. So example title, password, uh, let's, just, let's generate a strong password. Yeah, just use my own. And install. And voila, we're done. Uh, you now have a free WordPress install hosted on, on Heroku that won't cost you a dime and that'll also load lightning fast. Uh, if we go to the main WordPress URL, uh, you'll see just a standard WordPress install. And yeah, from there you can log in, customize it. Uh, you can use Heroku's backend uh, to actually add a custom domain. Uh, and yeah, add other people that are working on the project and just enjoy the free site. All right, guys, hope this has helped a couple of you. Uh, see you guys tomorrow, maybe. Bye.